Welcome back. The fentanyl crisis, one of our signature issues here at 17 News. We try to keep viewers updated on the fight against this deadly opioid, which has caused so much chaos and heartbreak in our community and all across California. Much of the news, therefore, is bad news. But today, we offer a year-end glimmer of hope. Here with that story is 17's Robert Price. For three years now, fentanyl's steady invasion into our homes and onto our streets has been unrelenting. But now, perhaps, we're turning a corner. Hard to say, but we see some signs of improvement. Is it enough? The crisis is profound. Fentanyl accounted for 5,700 of California's nearly 7,000 opioid overdose deaths in 2021. The state has invested more than $1 billion combating the fentanyl epidemic since Governor Gavin Newsom took office in January 2019, almost four years ago. The state's Department of Health and Human Services is investing $450 million in the current fiscal year alone. Law enforcement agencies throughout California seized 28,765 pounds of opioids, the bulk of it fentanyl, in 2022, with an estimated street value of $230 million. That's an increase in seizures of almost 600% compared to 2021. Thanks are due in part to the California National Guard, which added 166 new members specifically to address the fentanyl crisis. But fentanyl overdose deaths in Kern continue to trend up despite all these efforts. And state data suggests fentanyl is a bigger problem in rural counties like Kern than in densely populated counties, meaning the state's age-old urban versus rural divide could make it harder to get Sacramento's attention. That's where incoming State Assemblywoman Jasmine Baines of Delano hopes to make a difference. Baines has been using her voice as a physician to keep the crisis top of mind in the public consciousness, and she has taken that concern to the legislature. The first bill she introduced, creation of a fentanyl task force to get ahead of the problem, not just chase it. AB 33 is going to create a state fentanyl task force to bring experts to the table to let us know what we need to do to control fentanyl, um, not just fentanyl, but the uncontrolling uh, drugs that are on our streets today. Baines wants the task force to include law enforcement, addiction specialists, school board members, and health professionals. She expects to be putting the final language through in January. Committee hearings are likely to take place in March and a vote as early as April. Baines expects the task force to be around for only six months to a year. But we don't necessarily measure success in terms of arrests or money spent. We measure success in, in terms of lives saved. And we're not turning that corner just yet. In downtown Bakersfield, Robert Price, 17 News. And for more on the fentanyl crisis, including 17 Robert Price's in-depth series, Fentanyl, the Counterfeit Killer, visit our website, kgt.com slash fentanyl.